We're out here to treat hemlock trees to save them from uh, the hemlock woolly adelgid, which is an invasive insect that is killing all of our eastern hemlock trees. The hemlock woolly adelgid appears to be throughout the range of eastern hemlock in Kentucky, so essentially eastern Kentucky. And what we're seeing now is decline to some extent has set in pretty much everywhere. In some areas we're seeing dead trees already, particularly in the southern parts of the Daniel Boone, parts of the Big South Fork. In other places, uh, we're still finding some healthy hemlocks. It's pretty variable, but uh, the impact is pretty pervasive at this point. What we're doing today is a chemical treatment using imidacloprid. It's a very careful, measured uh, treatment of the chemical around the base of the tree, and it helps protect the tree anywhere from four to seven years. The way these trees are treated is that a hemlock tree is first measured for its diameter, uh, diameter breast height, DBH, and that diameter tells us how much chemical to use. And then we kind of scuff away the duff, the loose debris and leaves around the base of the tree, just immediately surrounding it, and then use what's called a soil drench. So pour usually just a few ounces of the liquid around the base of the tree, and then put the duff, leaves, etc., back on top of it, and then mark it with a pink or orange dot so that we know it's treated. The Division of Forestry and the Forest Service do a good job of record keeping, so every tree is tallied, the amount of chemical used is, is, is recorded uh, because there are limits and, and uh, criteria that they have to follow. It's not ideal, but it's the best tool that, that we have right now.